Let's get started. Paul McKenna, author of I Can Make You Thin. Hypnosis expert, Paul McKenna. Paul McKenna is the author of the book I Can Make You Sleep. Today, we're unlocking a new weapon in the fight against America's obesity epidemic. It's called hypnosis. Nobody understands this better than leading hypnotist Paul McKenna. All our decisions uh, about what we eat, when we eat, and how much we eat take place in our mind. Our mind, as you so rightly say, is like a computer. And so I want to help these folks reprogram their minds like a computer so that when they look at food in the future, they can take it or leave it. Calling all insomniacs. World famous hypnotist, therapist Paul McKenna is here. And he has written a new book called I Can Make You Sleep. He says he, that what he has written holds the secrets to a great night's sleep, and he's going to tell us why. But first, take a look at two people who decided to put the book to the test. Meet Denise and Patrick, two different people, two different homes, suffering with the same problem insomnia. I don't remember the last time I actually went to bed and woke up in the morning without waking up in the middle of the night. Their last hope, a new book, I Can Make You Sleep, with techniques and tips, even a hypnosis CD. And Paul McKenna joins us now. It's good to have you Lovely here. Lovely to be here. You've checked back in with them. They've been more mm. than a week into it. How's it, how's it going? Well, it's going very well. Uh, they're both now sleeping seven hours a night. But what's really interesting, Diane, is that um, uh, their quality of sleep's improved. I help people to slow their busy mind, I help them to relax their body. And then that state of deep relaxation, like a kind of meditation or even a bedtime story, if you like, is conducive to sleep. Britain's best-selling non-fiction author, his latest book, I Can Make You Sleep. Uh, we're very excited to welcome Paul McKenna. For 20 years you've been studying this. Why is it such a huge thing, I mean, insomnia? It is incredible. Oh. I mean, we polled our audience before the show. Yeah. So many people suffer from it. Well, people's attempts to try and correct their sleep problems actually very often make it worse. So people think things like, I know, I'll have a few drinks of alcohol before I go to sleep. And right. probably a few might be okay, but too many means you wake up later in the night dehydrated, you know, need to go to the bathroom. So, you know, it's things like that. Lots of people's attempts to correct their sleep problems actually make them worse. Because I haven't slept through the night for so, since the 70s. <laughs> yeah, well, what that's What are you probably... laughing at? It ain't funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Paul's like, ha, 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 too bad. <laughs> I know it's, it's bad, isn't it? If, I, if only I cared. Yes, you're right. So uh, it is actually... <laughs> if only I cared, he just said... Okay. Is this going well? Yes! Okay. No, I'm fascinated! I'm fascinated! I need this book! I'm going to hit myself in the head with it until I fall asleep! You don't need me anymore. You've got it! Good night! Ah!